Uh, we'll now move on to receive public comment. This portion of the agenda is set aside for members of the public wishing to speak on non-agenda items. Um, thank you for the cards. I want to make sure if anybody is out there that has a comment that hasn't submitted a card to please do that uh, right away. Uh, I understand that one or more members of the public has requested to use the county's audio and video system as part of their public comment. Um, as described on the first page of the published agenda for board and committee meetings, the chair of the committee has the discretion to limit or prohibit the use of the county systems during public comment. Um, and after consultation, I've decided not to use audio or not to have the, um, not to provide the use of audio or video system for public comment by anyone during PSJC meetings. And the reason for this is that my goal is to ensure that the public comment portion of the meeting allows all members of the public who want to speak to do so without any uh, potential delays due to technology issues in queuing up videos or, or audio content. Um, that said, I want to be clear that all speakers may comment on whatever they choose and provide whatever written materials they choose. And if any speaker desires to do so, uh, the speaker may orally or in writing provide the link information for any videos the speaker chooses and they will be submitted into the record. Um, and with that said, I'm going to call up our public speakers. You're welcome to line up at the podium um, in any order and I would ask that you state your name. I'll, I'll call a few first. Uh, state your name clearly for the, the record. And since we have quite a plethora I think we've got more than, give me just one second. Four, five, six. We've got more than 10 speakers, uh, which means that public comment will be uh, limited to one minute, please. So Dennis Emmett, Susan Bassey, Scott Largent. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Give me one second here. consent calendar. Okay. Let me revise that. We have three comments under public comment. Um, so we can go bump back up to two minutes uh, per speaker. Dennis Emmett, Susan Bassey, and Scott Largen, come on up, please. Good morning. My name is Susan Bassey, and we get three minutes for speaking, Ms. Ellenberg. And I want to say to you first that you are new to this, this committee, you are new to elected office in this county, and your decision to not play a video that was critical of Mr. Rosen, that shows Mr. Rosen making fun of handicapped people, that shows Mr. Rosen bragging about a dismal failure in his office, that shows Mr. Rosen bragging about managing $10 million worth of photos, and that shows Mr. Rosen giving flowers to Karen Sununu Towery that taxpayers paid for is disgusting and you are doing it to silent dissent. You were given today, in advance of my public comment, a package. This is one-tenth of the public records that I requested and got from the county. It shows a history of Michelle Dauber communicating with Terry Hammond, Harmon from your office, Mr. Rosen, as, long, as well as Casey Calhoun and a number of other people. You can look at me when I'm talking to you, Mr. Rosen. It's disrespectful not to. For two years, the DA's office worked with one mom, one victim's advocate on our criminal courts, evaluating Persky's cases. When there was a peripheral investigation going on by another mom who happened to be a publisher in family courts, Mr. Rosen's office stalked her associates, harassed her, and is prosecuting her. And I know that because that's me. Mr. Rosen also allowed certain people that he claimed were worthy of advocating for victims to take photos in the criminal courthouse in violation of a standing order and signs that were posted everywhere. But he is prosecuting me for taking photos where there was no standing order and where there were no signs. This is exculpatory evidence, Mr. Rosen. Your office set up Judge Persky. You committed tax resources to get Persky recalled. There are thousands of emails between your office and Stanford. 
You arrange for symposiums to teach sexual assault issues on the Stanford campus, a private university, and you did nothing for the public universities in our county. You did nothing for San Jose State. You did nothing for De Anza, which had a history of baseball players assaulting people that you did nothing about. You are a disgust. You are a waste of taxpayer monies. You are corrupt, and you have protected James Towery in the family court and Karen Sununu Towery from prosecutorial misconduct, and then you gave her flowers with our taxpayer money. If this doesn't call for an immediate investigation of prosecutorial misconduct and taxpayer waste coming from our district attorney's office, and you, Ms. Ellenberg, are going to stifle dissent and allow the county to block the YouTube channel of Scott Largent, who filmed his speech where he held up a crutch of a disabled prosecutor and called him peg leg, then you Thank will you be much. recalled as well. Scott Largent. Oh, are we uh, are we having technical? Are we using this one or? Oh, okay. Yeah, normally they kind of put the thing over here, but okay. Oh well, Th those are the tech technical difficulties that we're having, Susan. Those are not uh, not playing videos. Um, I went through this a couple of years ago regarding you know playing videos here in the supervisor chambers. We made sure to iron out all the details. Uh, when you'd come in here, there would be a laptop waiting right here. Everything was queued up. We didn't go into the allowed time. I mean, it was a, uh, we fought for that to be, to be able to have it work properly. Maybe, and I noticed this in the beginning of the meeting when Mike was kind of giving you some pointers right there, uh, maybe you could sit down with him and kind of get up to speed on some of that stuff. So then we won't have these roadblocks and we won't have county council having to chime in. Um, I, uh, I filmed a video of our district attorney making fun of, uh, I, and I don't even want to say the name, but I kind of got to, uh, Dan Peglegian, Pegleg, the gentleman with the prosthetic leg. Um, I don't necessarily have a normal prosthetic where I don't have like an arm or a leg or anything like that, and I don't know if many of you are aware, I don't have teeth. These are my teeth right here, okay? I had some pretty bad dental issues. I had a couple really bad mishaps in the Santa Clara County Jail um, and this is pretty damn embarrassing, okay? So when I watch people made fun of, it hits me. It hurts me. And when I was watching your speech, which would have been great to have put up on here to show how disconnected you are from the community, okay? That, that would have just been, the, the, the worst part is there's another gentleman in your office that's got a boot about this high. He's got a foot that's a foot off. That guy was sitting in the back. I saw him put his head into his hands, Jeff. That's disgusting. That is just sad that you would be willing to do that and make fun of people. And what about the other gal that has the nub as an arm? What about her? These are people with disabilities, Rosen, and you are disconnected from the community. And when I walk past here coming into this meeting, you damn near slam the door on a woman's face right there. You are just out of touch with reality. And you want to know something? We can put that video up online. That poor woman got that damn door slammed in her face. You don't get it, Jeff Rosen. You just don't get it. And that's my right to come in here and stop blocking my YouTube channel. Okay? I don't know why you didn't want to play that video, Susan. I just really don't know why you wanted to do it. And all meetings now are no longer going to have videos? Well, check it out. You can get a laptop, go right up here with the laptop, ask the guy from Create TV to zoom in, and you can still play the videos. Are you going to try to stop that also? You're silencing political dissent. Thank you.